Laura Bass, by her own admission, a relative newcomer, but this is her fourth show in one year. I think even before the result of the show, I've already attained my goal because I've come in the best I've ever looked. And that's pretty much what I was here to do. Uh, I brought up my weak points and I felt good about myself. There was nothing more I could do. I just wanted to come out here, have a wonderful time. Uh, it was an, such an honor to be on stage for the 10th anniversary. And I want to pursue this and uh, represent women's bodybuilding in a positive fashion. In her first year of real competition, even though she's been bodybuilding since 16 years of age, she has already won the NPC New Jersey title and the Junior USA title. Carla, she has a, a terrific jump start on this sport. Well, actually, she has come into the sport, as many of them, including our middleweight winner and lightweight winner, because she had bad knees, knee operations and whatnot, so she probably went to therapy, started lifting weights, and found that her body reacted quite favorably and continued and found a new sport. 24 years old, she is a production assistant for an advertising agency when she's not training for bodybuilding. She's also an equestrian, which must be nice. You see two highly developed bodies. Considering the horse is the athlete, she's also an athlete, so it must be really nice to be able to relate to the animal's muscles, the same as she relates to the muscles on her own body. Very symmetric build for Laura Kareen Bass. At 5'7", she's 145 pounds, which is up there because the cutoff here is 125, so if you're over 125, you're automatically a heavyweight. But that's 145 pounds that is very nicely distributed over her frame. Thickness without ultra, ultra cut, yet she's cut enough. And I think that after seeing what they've chosen in the last couple of classes, you're going to see a really high finish for Laura. Well, the standard was set by our lightweight champion in the heavyweight division is Laura Bass from Mountainside, New Jersey. She's with Rick. I'm joined with Laura Bass, who just won the heavyweight class. What's going through your mind right now? I'm thrilled right now. I'm, I'm still numb. I haven't come to the realization of it all yet. But okay. I'm very happy. Now, you know you still have to go through the pose down. What's going through your mind about that? Just go out there and have a great time. I've come this far, and now it's just all downhill. All right, let's get back to the competition. No one ever forgets that this national championships is a step to the professionals. And one final step is about to be taken by these three women who are the champions in their respective weight classes. Meryl Ertunch from Longwood, Florida, the lightweight champion. She goes up against middleweight winner Drory Kearns from North Hollywood, California, and the heavyweight champion Laura Kareen Bass from Mountainside, New Jersey. It's pose down time. Okay, quarter turn to the right. The judges are now going to compare these women for the first time. They've seen them quarter together to the right. as opposed to being with their weight classes. And right now, I quarter would say my right. vote goes to between Laura and uh, Dorit. And Both of them show very okay, balanced physiques. Dorit having a slight edge on Laura as far as her upper body and is concerned, is thickness. Side chest. But the way the judges have been judging, you know, it's anybody's game. I'd like to see what is going to happen here. And relax, face the rear. Laura Bass, noticeably back taller, but not noticeably bigger in terms of her proportions. That's right. And that's and where a, a smaller person size really size can step. keep up with a heavier or a, a larger person is that if the balance and the thickness is there, and you've got a run for your money on your hand your coming from the smaller competitor. Now, we heard a lot of the judges say that they were looking for the total package out of these three. Which one would you say represents that? There's a good look at the abdominal plate of Drury Kearns. I'd say Drury really has a really nice package, but it's it's just slightly ahead of Laura. I mean, it could be anybody's game between those two. I don't think that Merrill quite comes up to the hardness and the balance that the other, the middleweight and the heavyweight display. And the tradition does not favor a lightweight for an overall title. So it really would have to be between Drory Kearns in the middle and this woman, Laura Bass, the heavyweight champion, who is a relative newcomer to the sport, but gives nothing away in terms of the preparation that she has made for this contest. There's Meryl Ertunch, a very attractive physique and a deserving winner in the lightweight class, just not quite up to what the other two are presenting to the judges here. Now, and it would be a great year if Laura Bass won this overall, considering that this is her novice year. What a way to go. This is the freestyle part of the competition where they can get out and pose and show any pose that they want. They have already gone through the mandatory poses called for by the judges, and now they're just out here showing off. Drorit Kearns, 
the with the Israeli name Rorit. It is actually more correctly pronounced, and that's a mouthful. <laughs> Here is Laura Bass, who has done such a terrific job, really jumping onto the sport, and now we're waiting for the judge's call. We have a decision. Winner. Well, it's overall 29. winner, Jory.